we usually start small when we have big goals, right? And we'll, if we stick with them day in and out, one day we'll wake up and it'll be a big, a big goal. You have achieved it. Here's why just following shiny objects won't get you anything. Let's say you want to go from point A to point Z, alright? And there's like 24 other letters that are like let's say roads from A to Z. So for you to go to Z, you have to just choose one, for example choose B and just like take the course, you know, just keep walking. It just it will take a period of time of you just doing the walk or doing the work and then one day you will arrive at point Z but the problem is if you th do you just go in point B and you walk for a couple of days weeks and you don't arrive in point Z and you're like wait what's going on it's like okay I'll, I will go to C and see if it's point C and just road C and see if it's faster because I want to go to Z and you go to C and you just like keep walking but you don't go to Z so you're like fuck dude I'll go to D okay so you you just start again from point A you take D road and in your way to Z but <laughs> damn and this is like this is the shiny object syndrome alright like you need to stick with one thing you choose your path, I don't know which one it is, and you stick with it, and with enough time, you will reach point Z, and you need to just, like, c to cover your eyes from other things, like, oh my god, this thing will do this, no, shut the fuck up, I don't care, focus on your path, you'll, you'll reach it, trust me, 100%. I just spent the past three hours reading this book, I finished it. Finished it like in three days. Good. But still, it's four and a half right now. Monday. I need to. It's a great book. It talks about how you should have one thing. You should focus on it and should give it your all. Make it your North Star. I just keep going at it until you achieve it. The thing is, we usually start small when we have big goals, right? And we'll, if we stick with them day in and out, one day we'll wake up and it'll be a big, your big goal. You have achieved it. Yo, it's night already, bro. It's like. Like it's night. But it's like four five PM right now. What the fuck? Anyways. Just got another package from Amazon. Look. Got another book about jeans. Uh Ty Lopez recommended it. I was like, alright. Bro, I got like eighteen more books on my Amazon wish list, bro. I just ordered because I ordered three already. I was like, I'm gonna read four books a month, once every week. So yeah, this is the fourth one. It's about. Oh my god, it's big. The selfie gene. How many pages? Five hundred. Oh my. 
God, that's a lot of pages. Yeah, this will probably take a week. Uploading some content, 6 p.m. right now. I had to redo the video for Daily Matari for yesterday, 008. Uh, because it got blocked. I had some songs in it, whatever, copyright shit. I had to redo it. I got to upload some con content for the first time today. I started like making it late now because like I've noticed that people usually work like people are free like you the people are on their phones from 7 to 12 p.m. That's like when they're most at their phones. So that's the best time to post. I got more views at that time. So we post at 7, 9, 12. I'm gonna change it a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it five, seven, nine. Come, cause I'm gonna start sleeping at ten. I wanna wake up earlier, cause I wanna focus at the beginning of my day. So it's like three to nine, just like focused one big ass block, six hours of just like work on one singular thing. So yeah, I'm gonna make it five, seven, nine. There's not just one thing happening, there's always kind of equal and opposite forces acting in a journal entry. And uh, this is core to the concept of journal entries. And let me give you an example. So let's say I go to the car dealership and I buy my dream car. It's a... It started climbing mountains I had made up. I was afraid of heights until I learned to fly. If you made it to this point, thank you for watching the video. I love you. Keep hustling hard.